Shalom, shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Raka, Kadash, the more honest to the apostle and elders, the great millstone who will well. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the let man pushing his truth and faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. All right, this is the brother Yitzhakai coming back at you with another listen through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Raka, Kadash, all praises and honor due. All right, and I want to entitle this lesson Every Word of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, is pure. Or every word of God, so to speak, is pure, you know. Uh, cause uh, uh, he, you uh he he doesn't have any uh you you can't no one can dilute the word of Yahabashim Al Shah, you know. No one can uh taint the words of Yahabashim Al Shah. Yahabashim Al Shah's words are pure, every single word of them, man. You know, all these scriptures. Um, all these scriptures were inspired by Yahabashim al Shah. You know, these words come directly from the heavens, man. You know, point blank, period. Every single word, man. You know, and you could tell, man, these words are pure because if you live like this, it brings forth purity within your life, man. When you when you live according to the scriptures, man. When you live according to these words, man. You know, you get light in you, man. You know, which represents purity, man. You know, so. Without further ado, I'm just going to jump into some scripts. Uh, this is Proverbs 30, verse 5. It says, every word of Yahweh Shah is pure. So every word of Yahweh Shah is pure, like we just touched on, man. You know? Let's go into this word, pure. You know? These words are purified, man. These words are not tainted, man. You know? If anything, you're impure. You're impure. When this word hits your you, you know, it, it reveals your impurity, man. You know, let's go to uh, this in H68, 84. Strong's H68, 84. Tzaref. Mm. Tzaref. So you're going to select you. When you go into this word uh, pure, it goes in the, uh, to test, to smelt, refine, to test, to test and prove true. Smelter refiner goldsmith to be refined to be a refiner refiner <laughs> refine cast so founder goldsmith milk pure purge away try yeah so the word of, of the heavenly father you know is a tester you know like we were just touching on if anything you're you're impure you know when the and, and when the pure words if you have by shim outside uh hits you yourself or us you know so to speak because we all were impure you know which lord willing you know uh our, our righteousness is this filthy rag so lord willing you know yeah purifies us in in the last day you know but you know if anything we're impure and when, and when the word hits it reveals our impurity man let's go to hebrews 4 go to hebrews 4 this Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. It says, For the word of Yahabashim al Shah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes, yeah, so if anything, you know, the words of Yahabashim al Shah reveals your iniquity, man. You know, it reveals your impurities, it reveals your uncleanness, you know, your filthiness, man. You know, that's 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 what the words you have by Shem does. You you can't uh, reveal the the, uh, the 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 iniquity or you know the impurity within the word of you have by Shem The word of you have by Shem is the one which which reveals the uh, iniquity and the impurity. You know, <laughs> let's get this word quick. You know, so so if anything you're trying to say. Um, that the words that you have by Shemal Shah are impure with us because you're trying to cast off the light of your impurity on, on, on something else, man. You know, that's 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 a classic move, you know. Uh, basically, try to uh, take the spotlight off yourself and put it on someone else. That's a devilish move. That's a, that's deception. That's what Esau is all about, man. The accuser of nine brethren, man. You know, try to take the spotlight off, off of himself and, and put it on uh, someone else, man. You know. This is this G twenty one ninety eight. Hebrews four 
Strong's G2198. Zao. Zao. So, it says, uh, when you go into that word, quick is to live, breathe, be among the living, not lifeless, not dead. So, uh, that's what the scriptures speak about. The, the men that wonder if I the way of understanding should remain in the congregation of the dead, man. You know, because without the word of Yahweh Shemasha, you're actually dead, man. You know, the, the words of Yahweh Shemasha is the only thing that has life. You know, if something's dead, then it's impure. Just like we're, we're supposed to be touching dead bodies or even you don't even supposed to be around a dead body why because it's impurity you know so it says the word of Yahweh is quick you know what i'm saying so so the words of Yahweh is are alive you know if anything you're dead you know and the word reveals the death within you you know it says uh uh, active, blessed, endless in the kingdom to live past life in the manner of living, acting of mortals or character, living water, having vital power in itself <laughs> and exerting the same upon the soul mm, to be in full vigor, to be fresh, strong, efficient, active, powerful, efficacious to live. You know, so this the the, the words of Yahabashi Masha are strong, fresh, and effective, man. You know, we're not strong, fresh, and effective. It's, it's, it's the words of Yahabashi Masha. That's, that's the word of Yahabashi Masha, man. You know, you can't you can't find no uh, no dirt within Yahabashi Masha, man. You know, if anything, Yahabashi Masha's word will find it the, uh, the dirt within you. You know, matter of fact, let's get this. This Jeremiah chapter 2 in verse 5. It says, This said the Lord, Yahabashimasha, what iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain? So, Yahabashimasha, you, you can't find no iniquity in Yahabashimasha. You know, Zephaniah 3 and 5 tell you about that. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity, man. So, the words of Yahabashimasha are not, uh, um, uh, you, you you can't find no impurity within it, man. You know it's 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 perfect. It's it's within perfect harmony, so to speak, man. You know it's no iniquity within uh, Yahweh Shimao Shai or His Word, man. Because Yahweh Shimao Shai uh, is known by His Word, like a lesson I was going into yesterday. You know, let's go here to Psalms. This is Psalms chapter twelve and verse six. It says, the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, are pure words. So the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, are pure words, which, you know, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you know, represent purity, you know. So anything that they speak is going to be purity. Just like uh, pertaining to uh, Numbers, tw the 23rd chapter, when it says, Yahweh Shemashah is not a man that he should lie, you know. So Yahweh Shemashah, he's not going to, he's not going to, so like you, say anything impure. It says, the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, are pure words as silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times. Yeah, so basically implying that the words of Yahweh Shemashah are, uh, are, are very pure, man. You know, or uh, are, 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 it, it says purified seven times, which that's a complete amount of, uh, amount of times, man. It's silver tried in the furnace of the earth, man. You know. So basically, Yahweh Shemashah is saying you, it's it's no flaws within my word. You know, you, you 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 can do whatever you you can diamond test it. You you can run it through the heat, whatever you want to do. My 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 word is official. You know, it says, "Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation, from ever for forever." So, look, man, dude, and, and, and that's another thing too. Can't nobody uh. Yahweh Shemashah has uh, preserved his word, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this, the the word that Yahweh Shemashah said was purified and was pure, pure words and was purified as as silver tried in the furnace seven times. That same word is preserved from generation to generation unto this generation right now, man, forever, man. So, the, so the words of Yahweh Shemashah was never diluted. You know, or never polluted anything. Somebody took the words of Yahweh Shemashah and 
you know, came up with their own interpretation to it, you know. But that, that don't change the validity of, uh, you know, the word within itself. You know, that was just some what, somebody taking the word and, and, and you know, uh, uh, interpreting it how they wanted to interpret it, you know. But they don't take away from the purity of the word. You know, that was just someone impure, you know, uh, using that, uh, do, doing something impure, you know. They, they don't make the word impure. That was just someone doing an impure act. You know, let's go here. This is a. Uh, um, okay, yeah. This uh, First Peter one and twenty three. Matter of fact, let me go to Second Peter one and twenty twenty one. Then I'm gonna jump back to that. See like you. Second Peter one and twenty one. Just to make a quick point. Well, it's, it's 20 so like it. this uh second peter 1 and 20 it's saying it says knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation right so that's that's the purity within the scriptures you know it's not of no private interpretation you know it's 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 it's, it's of uh purity man so if you speak you have to speak according to uh the purity within uh these scriptures man you know it says for the for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh Hashem Shah spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, man. Yes, yeah, so the, the 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 prophecies, the words in these scriptures didn't come by the will of man. That that came by uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, the Rakakadash, you know, which you know is is directly uh, that di directly comes from on high from Yahweh Hashem Shah to be able to interpret. His scriptures and uh, interpret his word and break down his word properly, man. You know, and and the Holy Spirit is is, is pure within itself. You know, so you have to have something pure to be able to push out something that's pure. You know, Yahweh is not going to let nothing impure push out something that's pure. You know, let's go here to uh, first, first back to First Peter one and twenty three. It's back in first Peter one and verse twenty three says being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible right, you know, and that's according to the word, man. Because how does a man cleanse his way? By by uh taking heed to the word, you know. Matter of fact, I wanna I'm gonna grab that real quick. Just grab that real quick. So like you I think Psalms 119 and 9, I believe. Yep. This uh, Psalm chapter 1, 19 and 9 it says, Wherewithal we'll shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word, according to thy word, man. You know, that's what purifies you. That's what cleanses you, you know, taking heed unto the word, man. You know, and that's how you know that the word of Yahweh Shem is true, you know, because it purifies you, man. You know, it, it cleans you up, man. It it gets you right. And I can attest to that. I'm a, a living testimony to that, you know. Taking heed unto the word of Yahweh Hashem actually purified me, man. Actually purified my soul, my mind, you know. And uh, you know, actually uh, gave me insight, you know, on on pretty much on, on on deep mysteries and oracles and things that I could never put my finger on in my whole life, you know. That's the pure. That's the pure word of Yahweh Hashem man. You know. This uh first Peter chapter one verse twenty three says, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, which is that purity, you know, by the word of Yahweh Shimasha, which liveth and abideth forever. So it tells you that's how you, you know, become uh incorruptible, which means completely uh purified, is is by the word of Yahweh Shimasha, which liveth and abideth forever. So the word of Yahweh Shimasha lives and abides forever man and it says lives too man so the word you have by shima is actually living you know <laughs> it says for all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the flower of grass the grass where with withereth salakia and the flower thereof falleth away but the word of the lord endure forever and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you right so you know, here it is, you know, after generation and generation and generation, the word of Yahweh Shimao is still standing, man. You know, 
<laughs> the, the word of Yahweh Hashim outside is still here after after generation and generation and generation when people have died and died and died, man. You know, but what's still standing? The words of Yahweh Hashim outside, man. You know, so what what would you rather trust in? The the, the words of Yahweh Hashim outside or, you know, uh, men who do nothing but just pass away, you know? But the words continue to live on. But this word is continued to live on, you know? If it was imperial, would it died off, man? You know, but this word is still living and bigger and better than ever. You know, this this uh, Psalm chapter sixty eight verse eleven it says the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Yes, it says the Lord gave the word, and great was the company of those that published it. You know, so the Lord, yeah, how about she? gave the word. Ain't nobody else get a word, man. Ain't ain't no other scripture. Ain't no ain't any scripture of private interpretation, man. You know. Let's go ahead to Psalms 19. Psalms chapter 19 and verse. So like, yeah. Psalms chapter 19 and verse 8. It says, mm, let's just start at 7. This is Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. It says, The law of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is perfect. <laughs> and what's within the law? The word of Yahweh Shema Shai, converting the soul. You know, so this, this word is, can actually convert your soul. Can't can't no one else do that? The testimony of the Lord, you have a Shimasha, is sure. Why? Because it's pure, making wise the simple. You know, only something pure can do that. You know, can actually convert something or change something. You know, it, it, it like if you got a pure, if you got water and you purify and the water is tainted and diluted, if you got a purifier, you know, it 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 can actually convert the water to be pure. You know, it can purge away all the uh the, the pollution and the corruption within the water, man. That's that's like the word, which is living water, you know. It says, The statues of the Lord, Yahabashima Shah, are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord, Yahabashima Shah, is pure, enlightening the eyes, you know. So, the statues of the Lord, Yahabashima Shah, are right. And you can, you know, so if you live by the statues of Yahabashima Shah, you can tell this the right way to go, you know. You can't, it's, it's, it's if, if you live in the, the way Yahabashima Shah, um, told you to live within his statues then you know it's, it's nothing bad gonna happen to you for doing that you know you can't find a law that's you know or a statue that's you know that's wrong you know what i'm saying it's, it's nothing that's wrong you know within the words you have about it's nothing impure you know it says rejoice in the heart so it actually you know rejoices your mind actually you know make you have peace within your mind you know that's that god sent comforter you know it says the commandment of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, is pure. The commandments of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, are pure, right? So the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, like we was touching on, it's nothing uh, impure about it. Just like the Heavenly Father tells you not to eat pork, you know. Well, that's that's actually something that's pure, you know, because if you eat pork, that's impure, you know. Like if you eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, that's impure, you know. The the, the Heavenly Father commands us not to do those things, so that's pure, you know. It says enlightening the eyes, right? It enlightens you. It, it enlightens you, man. You know, the words of Yahweh Shema Shah can actually enlighten you and give you understanding, you know. That was that was the breath that he uh breathed into Adam with which made him a living soul, you know. Was was it was it was the word, man. It was the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shema Shah, which is the word, you know, which was pure, you know, and that's why Adam was a was pure you know it was no iniquity found within uh adam you know until sin was introduced into the world you know let's go here uh is this it uh salakia um salakia Bear with me, Salakia. Uh, let's see if it was, is it? Ah, uh, Salakia, brothers. This one I had. Uh, Lord willing, I can find it. Because this song's, this song's 119. It's a uh, long book. So I'm trying to remember, make sure I got the right one. Yeah, there you go. Call Allah, Yabashi Masha. You know? Yep, that's it. This uh, Psalms 119 
and 160. Selakia. It says, Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Woo! So it says, uh, the the word, thy word was true, is true from the beginning. Just like we were just touching on Adam when Yahbashima uh breathe breath, breath, you know, breathe life into Adam, you know, and made him a living soul. That, that that word was true from the beginning, you know. It says, and every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever, man. You know, so Yahbashim Yahshua's word endure forever. It's never gonna uh be banished, so to speak, you know. Let's go to uh, Second Ezra. Uh, Second Ezra eight and verse uh, twenty. This uh, Second Ezra eight and twenty. It says, "O Lord, Thou that dwellest in everlastingness, which beholdest from above things in the heaven and in the air, whose throne is inestimable, inestimable, <laughs> whose glory may be." may not be comprehended before whom the host of angels stand with trembling whose service is conversant in wind and fire whose word is true and sayings constant whose commandment is strong and ordinance fearful you know so the, the sayings of Yahweh Shema Shah are constant they're consistent man you know you ain't gonna find no inconsistencies in the sayings of Yahweh Shimao Shah, man. You ain't gonna find no falseness in the words of Yahweh Shimao Shah, man. You know? You 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 can't even comprehend the glory of Yahweh Shimao Shah, man. You know? And, and, and that's why most people can't understand the words of Yahweh Shimao Shah because they, they they his his glory is is uh, uh it, it can't be comprehended. That's why. You know, most people can't comprehend this word because you can't even you you can't even comprehend the glory of Yahweh Shimao Shah, man. You know, let's go to Second Samuel. Second Samuel twenty two and twenty seven. This Second Samuel chapter twenty two verse twenty seven says, "With the pure thou will show thyself pure, and with the forward thou will show thyself unsavory." Right. So with the pure thou will show thyself pure, man. You know, so the pure is the ones who are going to be able to uh, comprehend it. You know, you got to be pure to be able to get some pure, you know. But with the forward, that will show thyself unsavory. So, Yahweh if, Shah, if, if you can't comprehend it, that's because you're impure, you know. <laughs> that's why we read Hebrews 4 and 12 about how it's a discerner of the soul and the spirit, man. You know, it'll find you out, man. You can't find the word out, the word going to find you out, man. If you can't comprehend the word, the word comprehended you, you know. Let's get Philippians 4. This Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. It says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, which is the word. <laughs> we read about that. Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. <laughs> if there be any virtue... And if there be any praise, think on these things, you know. So this, this you're supposed to be thinking upon uh, the, the the word of Yahweh Shimao Shah, man. Can't, ain't nothing else pure. You know, we went into that, you know. Ain't nothing else honest. Ain't nothing else just. Ain't nothing else, uh, you know, lovely. You know, don't nothing else have a good report, man. You know. It, it, nothing else has virtue as the words of Yahweh Shimao Shah, man. You know, and this is how you praise your Habashi So this is what we supposed to be thinking upon, thy word, man. You know, and living according to it, man. You know. I got one more and I'm gonna wrap it up. You know, I pray through the spirit and prophet Yahbashi Masha. This was edifying, you know. Let's go here to first chronicles. This first chronicles chapter sixteen and verse fifteen. It says, Be ye mindful always of his covenant. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, man. So, you know, we, we're, we're supposed to uh, always be mindful of his covenant, man. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, man. You know, so this, this his his word is still, uh, his word is still valid, man. And, and ain't no impurity in his word, man. His word was commanded unto a thousand generations, man, including this one right here, man. You know, and we supposed to always be mindful of it. That's why we supposed to think upon those things which are pure. You know, but uh, that's it, man. I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Shemashah is edifying.
want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, who will, and peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom.